Hi, we're going to do another little Matisse activity. This is quite a fun one to do with young children or older children. So we have lots of different colour papers and we're going to create an animal or an insect. But we're not going to tell each other what we are making. We're going to guess afterwards, OK? So who could think of any animals or insects? Yes? An anteater. An anteater? OK, mm -hmm. I, would have, I wasn't guessing this. What about insects? A ladybird. Ladybird, yeah. Grasshopper. Grasshopper's a good one. Anything else? Any reptiles? A slug. A slug, yes. Sloth. A sloth, wow. These are quite exotic animals, yeah? A worm. A worm. <laughs> a worm. Oh, that'd be a good one to do. That's kind of like, yeah, quite easy. Anyway, what do you think this is? A snail. Why do you think it's a snail? Because I can see a shell and that's the, the slimy part and that's the head. And this is the spiral yeah. of the shell. But it's yeah. just upside down. Is it up, you think it's upside down? Why, which way do you think it goes? That no, way, it's not way. upside down, it's not upside down. I think it is this way. Yeah. I think it is this way. Because it that's what, it is a snail. Head. Did you know the answer? I think, do you know what? I've got a picture here and you can't quite remember, but we actually went to the Tate Modern and we actually saw the real one, the real Matisse snail. Look at the size of it, Austin, that's you in front of it. You, do you remember it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all coming back to you now. Look at that, you actually saw the original one in the Tate Modern. So that's pretty exciting. So what we're gonna do, we're going to create our own Matisse animal or insect, okay? So you can make up your own and keep it a secret. Keep it a secret, don't tell us, and then we'll guess what your animal is. Um, but you're, you're going to do it in maybe some, some squares, different colour squares, okay? Now, earlier, Eric did a cutout, and he said this was an elephant. Which way round was it? This way? It was this way, wasn't it, with a trunk, Eric? And that's quite Matisse, isn't it? You could have added a few more squares, maybe, or just kept it like that. And that would have been a great example of something you said was an elephant. And everyone would stand at the gallery and think for ages like this. Ooh, what is it? What is it? What could it be? Because yeah. that's good. Yeah, but they might not know, but you know. And then they'd have to go really close up and read the little information on the side in the gallery and think, oh, elephant. Very simple, so they love that. You could have done it, you could do a massive one. Maybe your theme is just elephants. Yeah, the boy does elephants. <laughs> like Matisse, you could do huge ones. Right, I have got some animals and insects here, so if you can't think of one, you could use the shape. So look, this is a good one for a snake. Matisse, would he have just done circles? Would he have just done squares? Would he have just done just squares? Circles. Maybe, maybe. Squares. So just look, tiny, maybe tiny one of you want to do that. Up. Maybe one of you likes to do a simple caterpillar. That's also a nice... Ladybird, that's what I said. Yeah, that's you did actually I'm say ladybird, didn't you? Look, yeah. what are you going to do for legs? You don't. Ha it doesn't have to look exactly like the insect or the animal, though. It just has to represent it a bit. You've got like a dragonfly or a fish. Matisse loved painting fish, goldfish. Oh, he did a bee one as well, didn't he? Although we said it looked a bit like a fly. But you could just use those colours, couldn't you? And then he loved a dove and a bird, a pigeon. Austin? Yes. And then you said giraffe, didn't you? Yeah. Interesting. Well, anyway, so you could choose one of these or choose something completely different. Right. Which colours are you going to cut from? And we can do it on white, can't we? I'll have a right, off you go. Thing. Can't wait to see your animals. <laughs> I've done mine, boys. They're running across the whole earth. <laughs> Can anyone guess what mine is? Aust Eric. A bee? <gasps> yes, you've got it, it's a bee. <laughs> right, Ooh. yours is definitely an animal with two ears. It's a mammal. Leg, leg, body, 
Horse? Tail. Nope. Fox? Mm, nope. Um, it does have fur. Yes. A wolf? Yes. Is it a wolf? Yeah. You got it. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> it's amazing. Look how simple it is. This is so Matisse. Yes. Look at that. Wow. I love it. Right. Um. Elephant. Uh, no. Elephant. What? Because it looks like it's got a trunk. It's so cool. It wasn't what you like. Your. Is it another snail? Is it, mm. is, it, is it bigger than a snail? Yes. It's bigger than a snail. It's very simple, isn't it? Is, your, is it actually green in real life? Well, the shell is green. It's got a shell and he gave us a clue. Mm. I think I might know a shell. Is it walk really slowly? Yeah. <laughs> it must be a tortoise. A thing. tortoise. Is it a tortoise? <laughs> Eric, high five. That's fantastic. Amazing. I think Matisse would be very proud. You're very good. You kept yours very simple. Mine was a bit fussy and I loved yours. Hey, how cool is that? So yours you could do easy. Matisse animals and guess each other's animals. Good game. Mm -hmm. Les animals.